This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Get the hell out of here! An authoritarian academic. Providing great material for a liberty-leaning YouTuber. There are quite a few videos out there already that document very serious things happening and deadly police abuses. But these funny, angry people vids are really important. I'm fighting for the teacher. I work for the VA administration. I take care of my They illustrate a concept I call, I mean, you're familiar with the tragedy of the commons where all kinds of bad things happen on public property. But I call it the comedy of the commons. With regard to the term thug, uh, are you closer to being a thug than Daryl is in the sense that you've, you, you've passed you know, a lot of laws that restrict people's freedoms? I have, I have three words to say to you, Mr. Ridley. Get a life. Okay. Working on it. Or at least I'd say it's uh, the other side of the same coin. You could also call it the Star Wars factor, or the serenity factor, where uh, sort of serious stories are told, but there's a lot of good dialogue and humor as part of the story. Another example of the comedy of the commons is uh, this situation where the government of Vermont uh, you know, it had all this money in its budget to buy signs, you know, or rent signs about clicking, you know, uh, clicking your seatbelt. Then they discovered that there was some kind of statutory pro prohibition on them, you know, some sort of statutory prohibition that prevented them from buying the pro seatbelt billboards in Vermont. So they bought pro billboard Bump, uh, pro, you know, pro uh, seatbelt billboards in New Hampshire and put them up in New Hampshire just so they could spend the money. And this, of course, was considered hilarious and it turned them into, uh, you know, the butt of many jokes and they were sort of a, uh, the laughing stock of New England for a couple of months. See, not every liberty fight has to be about keeping people out of concentration camps or yelling at the police. There is a, a parallel liberty struggle that is all, all about the humor. Now, when I don't have people acting crazily funny in front of me, I have to kind of try and do a little bit of it myself. And I get criticized for it because some people don't think I'm funny. But other people do. And for some reason, people keep watching. The ratings keep going up. I'm up to 20,000 hits a day now on my vids. Oh, and look. Get away from me, Bridley. People who I've never met even know who I am. As they're being authoritarian and funny at the same time in front of my camera. I didn't even have to risk an increased heart rate for this one. The point is, although documenting government abuses is very important, Giving them a chance to be laughing stocks is also important. I can't be on a public street. No, this, well, this is blocked off the street right now. It's a sidewalk. Sir, you can't be up here right now. Are street. you going to try and get me arrested for staying on the sidewalk? Oh, you're one of those Ron Paul, like, oh, yeah, everything, first and fourth moment. I'm asking you politely, can you please you make a scene about... I think I should be able to be up here. I'm, or are, you, why are you saying I'm not press? Technically, that's not a government person, but more what I'd call a government groupie. The point is, when bad guys get angry, they don't always get deadly. Sometimes they just get funny. Sun Tzu said, uh, Sun Tzu said, quote, If your opponent is of choleric temper, seek to irritate him. Unquote. No, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? 
Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at lrn.fm to listen or broadcast their signal. lrn.fm Feds don't want you to hear them. Thank you.